It is 844 now. Welcome back to KVU News Weekend Daybreak. Time now to take a look at our top stories. 18,000 people are flooding the streets of downtown Austin this morning for the 38th annual Statesman 10K. They started running at 8 o'clock and the winner has already crossed the finish line. You can find out more information on that runner later on KVU News. If you're driving through downtown Austin this morning, you should be aware of some road closures along the race route. Police will open up streets as runners finish up. They say that should be around 11 o'clock this morning. Sunshine, temperatures upper 70s. So we kind of get the payoff at the end of the week if we can get through a few days of rain and thunderstorms. Right, and maybe something serious, not severe, but heavy thunderstorms tonight. Yeah, uh, <laughs> lightning, uh, maybe some gusty winds and small hail. Okay. It's not something that I'm worried about. That's something we'll watch. Okay. Those of us that have to get up early in the morning will be watching. Yes. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's you. That's right. <laughs> yes. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lene. Well, political pundits say today is the day Hillary Clinton is expected to launch her campaign for the White House. And that announcement is already causing attacks on her 2016 presidential campaign and also on her family. ABC's Cecilia Vega is in New York this morning with the very latest. It is 8.52. Now, a lot of late nights are on the way for music star Justin Timberlake, and it doesn't have anything to do with music. Timberlake and his wife, Jessica Biel, welcome their baby boy to the world, what the couple has decided to name their son, coming up next. Again, daybreak time approaching 8.53, and that fog just keeps getting soupier out there. Take care if you have to hit the roads anytime soon this morning. You're watching KVU, Austin's News Leader.